this video I'm going to explain you about how to delete the records from the file on certain condition. So in my previous videos I explained you about storing the data that is output mode, add more data into the file that is append mode, to read the data and display the data or print the data that is input mode and to copy the data using input mode and output mode I have explained already and to update the records of the file also I have explained so you can watch those video. Now today we are going to delete the data. So our sequential data file student.dat contains some records of students with field name, roll number, name and age. So this student.dat file is already exist. So let me check first. Inside this QB64 folder, you can see student.dat. Let me open this file. This file is exist, which have uh, roll number. This is name, full name, first name and last name and then age. In this program, what we have to do is write a program to delete the records of a student whose last name is Rester. So let me check. You can see here, I have one record with last name as Rester and another record with last name as Rester. This is first name, this is last name. So I want to delete these records. So how we can do that? So let me write a code. First of all, I will write CLS to clear the data of the output screen. So I want to open this file student.dat student.dat this file is already exist so i want to read the data from that so student.dat for input to read the data as as one this has one will represent this student.dat file for input means we are reading data from the file first of all i will read the data and then i will check whether that record has last name as rest or not so I will open another file also. I will give name as temp.dat for output as as one. Sorry, as two. Okay, so this has two will represent this temp.dat. Why I am creating this temp.dat in output mode? Because I want to store all the records except whose last name is register in this file new file i want to copy that so that's why i'm using output mode now i want to read data from student.dat so while not eof of one while not uf of one until we reach the end of the file of this student.dat file i want to read the data so i will write here input as one from as one file i want to read roll number r then name and dollar and then for A's I will write here A. I will read this data and after reading I will check if okay first of all inside this end dollar inside this end dollar what we have let me open this file again inside this end dollar we have this Mukesh Sarma so I want to extract this last name first from this name so this is present here at the right hand side so from right hand side I want to check whether that last name is rest or not so I will extract 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 8 characters from the right hand side of the name so I will use here um, L dollar for last name equals to I will use a write dollar function write dollar bracket n dollar comma 8 from the name I am extracting the last name from right hand side from this n dollar that is name I want to extract 8 characters that is rest s h r e s t h a 8 characters so this will extract that and if u case dollar of n sorry l dollar is equals to sphester so i have extracted last name and that is stored in l dollar so i am converting that last name that is sphester into capital letter and i am checking that whether that is sphester or not so 
I'm taking whether it is stressed or not. UK dollar of L dollar equals to stressed. Then what I want to do is I will write as two. I'm just copying this name which name last name is stressed into the another file that is has to temp dot that. So what I want to copy, I will copy this roll number comma name comma age. And then after that, I will write here end if for if a statement and then I will write here when and then I will close both the file close has one comma has two after closing I will I have copied all the data so I will kill the file kill which file I don't want this old file because I have copied the data student dot dat kill statement will delete the old file and after that I will rename the file new file as rename same dot dat as a student dot dat. I'll rename the new file as a student dot dat and then end up the program. So one mistake is here. Last name is stored in this L dollar, and we are checking whether that last name is stressed or not. If this is stressed, we are copying the data. But what we want is if this is not stressed, if last name is not equals to stressed, then only we want to copy this data because we want to delete stressed. No? So we have to keep here not equals to. If last name is not stressed, not equals to stressed, then we are copying the data into the new file. That is this one file. So the data which uh, have which don't have last name as stressed that will be copied into the second file the temp.dat file and after copying we are closing the file and after closing we don't want this original file which have last name as rester we are deleting that using the kill statement and then after that we are renaming that temp.dat file as student.dat so our task is completed let me show you file once again here let me open this this have now rester after running the program the data will be deleted which have last name as register. Okay, let me go to both the screen and let me run this program now. Okay, the program is executing. Let's wait. So as you can see in this screen, this temp.dat file will be created first and it will be deleted and then after that data also done. Okay, let me close and then let me open this student.dat file. As you can see, student.dat have only the name which last name is not stressed on. so this is how it work so in this way you can to delete operation in the file handling thank you for watching have a great day